See, this is really good because it's showing that the pathing's actually working. Um, which is which is what we you know we need. Oh shit! What we need to make this build successful. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. This is the Insane uh, Nightmare Speed tutorial slash Let's Play series. And in this episode, we are going to get ready for Horde Night. So I've been uh, doing a little bit of thinking about things, uh, drove around a little bit uh, to try and get some ideas. And I think I have a plan. I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try it. And, you know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll die. That's all there is to it. Okay, so I'm going to grab some cobblestone and grab some forged iron there. And let's see here. We... Did we take that point in, um, um, whatchamacallit, 69 or We did. Okay, so I would like to make a pick. What do we got going on in here? So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're smelting iron and brass. Uh, so let's make some forged iron. Um, actually, hold on a sec. I want to make some arrowheads, too, because we're probably going to use our bow. Uh, so let's make... Mm, let's make 150 of these. And then we're going to make forged iron. And uh, maybe we can get uh, some tools made up. Now I'm also going to uh, get this this um, uh, brass going too uh, for bullet casings. Uh, so we'll come back in a little bit and deal with all that stuff. So let's go ahead and head on out here. We got a Nurse Nancy out here that we need to take care of. Let's get this repaired as well. Uh, we need stones to repair that. Don't have any stones with me. Could have stones in here. I do. Let's take about 500 or so of those. We might need we might need a little more cobble, but probably not based upon what I have in mind. How are we doing on food and water? We've got three bacon and eggs, four tea. Uh, we got just normal water there. Do I have anything going on in here? I do. Look at that. Six red tea. Yeah, yes. Okay. So it looks like that's all we got for food, but that should be good enough for now. Okay, so let's head on down. Get Nurse Nancy away from the house. Come get me. Whoa, she got me. You wasted no time. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to... There's a barn over here. And we're going to try and leverage the setup uh, in the barn silo for our Horde Knight uh, base here. So let's head on over here. And we're just going to park right here. Now, the thing that's going to have to happen to get this to work is I thought about maybe trying to use the ladder but the problem is the horde will probably break the ladder uh, at some point during the horde night and if they do that then that's going to kind of mess us up for what we need to do go down you know you want to I'm trying to conserve my ammo as much as possible because we're going to need it for the horde night so what we have to do is we have to provide another way for them uh, to easily get up to us that they're that, you know that they're not going to easily break so i think that what that means is we're going to build a ramp so they can get up on the roof and run around the other side and then cross over uh, to get to where we're going to set up there um so let's do this first before we do even do that um we're going to need to break a hole through here uh, this this is a, a very weak silo as you can tell it's only 300 hit points so we need to try and make sure that the Zombos don't, you know, attack the actual structure itself because it wouldn't take them long at all to bring it down. Uh, can we upgrade this, though? We mm, we could with scrap iron. Okay, that's something. If we have time and I have enough scrap iron, I might actually do that later. But we need to provide a way for them to get back out of the silo um, um, when they fall down through. Okay, we're going to have to get rid of all of this stuff. You used to be able to pick the hay bales up, but unfortunately you no longer can do that. So, And there is a secret stash crate down in here too, for those of you who may not know that.
All right, what do we have? Uh, yeah, we'll take that. This is worthless to us. We'll scrap it. Okay, that should be good enough. I'm not really worried about the rest of these for now. So, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over here. And we're going to create ourselves, uh, or we're going to create, rather, for the Zombos, a ramp system up there. Um, so let's make, oh, I, I should have already started this. We need to make some flatstone blocks. Let's start with, say, 30-ish, and then we'll see where we're at from there. I don't want to overdo it on the flagstone. Um, so, right, yeah, right there's good enough uh, for the start of the ramp for them to get up there. And we're just going to do this. Okay, and then we're going to switch to the uh, 45s, which are right here, and put those in place for them to be able to get up to the roof. Good. And then I keep hitting I for my inventory because I've been playing a lot of Conan Exiles. Uh, where's my hammer? I don't think I grabbed it. Ah, shoot. Okay, well, we'll just use this. We're going to go back to the base in just a couple minutes anyways and uh, get the stuff we need to make a pick because we're going to have to break a few things up above and we're going to want to make sure that uh let's uh, let's also reinforce this uh, a little bit too because sometimes you know they'll attack the ramp okay i think that's good enough if they break this stuff out here it's not going to cause the rest of it to collapse or at least i don't think it will okay good so that gives them um, a way to get up on the roof um from there uh, now, let's go back to the base for a second and get um, the stuff that I need for, uh, you know, to make a pick and get that going. Because I think I can make that in my inventory. I don't think I have to make it in the workbench. I, mm, I might be wrong about that. We'll see. It doesn't matter. Uh, main thing is, is we need to get a pick going. Okay, we're also going to get some bullet casings going. If we have time, we're going to try and mine up a little bit of uh, lead uh, and get stuff we need to make gunpowder. Um, I guess we'll, we're going to have to do that in our own inventory. I think we can make a chem station. Actually, we can make a chem station. Let's look at that for a second. Uh, we have the beaker. We'd have to burn 100 forged iron to do that, but that's not that big of a deal. We have five bottles of acid. We only have two. Yeah, uh, we're not going to have time to, to try and get a chem station going. So, all right, what do we need to make a pick? Iron pickaxe. Uh, yes, we can make that in here. So we've got the iron, we got the wood. We need three leather and three duct tape. One, two, three. Um, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can make the axe too. Um, so that means we're going to probably need six of those. We have five duct tape. Let's get the pick going. Good, we can make that in our inventory. Um, and for the iron fire axe, we're going to need another three duct tape. So let's go ahead and grab this and this and get some more duct tape going. Um, I'm just going to make turn all of that into duct tape for now. And then we'll make our axe in. I'm going to grab these ladders too. Put those in there. Uh, I don't have any scrap iron left at the moment, so that's something we're going to have to... Uh, think about at some point Okay, it's noon, so we don't have a ton of time. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to make a, a ton more bullets But you know, we'll we'll make what we can make uh, we've got 144 nine mils and Let's see. I think we need three so three goes in 90 30 so we should be able to make 30 more uh, seven six twos if We can come up with the lead because I have no lead in here but, I mean, we're not, you know, we're, this isn't, we're not going to use the gun mostly tonight. We're going to mostly use the bow and the sledgehammer. The gun's going to be more for emergency situations. Anyway. Okay, so we got to the pick cooking up. Let's get the fire axe cooking up. we got to get the duct tape out of here first. Uh, iron fire axe. There we go. And then I'm also going to make a bunch of iron arrows. We'll get those cooking up too. And what about a shovel? 
We need an iron shovel, and we can make one. All right, let's get a shovel, and then we'll do the arrows. Very good. Okay, we're going to put all this stuff back in here for now. Um, so, yeah, we're going to use mostly our stone sledgehammer, but we might we're going to use our bow a little bit, too, and I do have three repair kits for that stuff. Uh, this we can repair with stone, so we're good, in good shape uh, with that. Oh, we also have 48 blunderbuss ammo, too, so... All that stuff together, I think uh, we'll make this work. All right, let's get back out here. Oh, we are hungry. What other food do I have? I've got the bacon and eggs. I'd like to kind of hang on to those for healing. Um, we have a chili. Let's eat it now. Again, I'm not concerned about the high-end recipes. We're probably not going to get there anyway. So let's just eat this food right now. Get our food maxed out, and we'll save the bacon and eggs later because the bacon and eggs also give us a decent amount of healing. Okay, uh, we should be fine on beverage. So yeah, let's go. Let's get back to work here. You know, now that I think about it, we are gonna need some more scrap iron. So let's get the rest of the stuff done that we need to do first, and then I'm gonna, you know, the pick will be done by then. And we just need to go out and find uh, a quick iron node just to upgrade a couple of things. Okay, so let's head up here. I forgot to bring my hammer again, darn it. Got the attention of a couple of sleepies. Okay, so... What we have to do is we have to build a bridgeway over to here. Okay, so can we reach this from here? We can. Okay. Break this out. Okay. We'll get this upgraded to cobble. And then the AI will jump over that rail. That'll, that'll just help slow them down a tiny bit, so I'm just going to leave that the way it is. Um, we could... I guess, guess we could break that ladder out, but let's... Oh, we have our pick. Okay. Yeah, let's let's get rid of this ladder here. And then we'll p just patch in this little hole here. Or maybe what we'll do is we'll leave it there, because some of the zombos might actually end up falling down through the hole, and then they have to pat back up. And again, those sorts of things just buy us a little more time is all. Let's drink some coffee for stamina boost. Okay, that gets rid of the ladder there. Now, what we're going to have to do is jump over that to break those pieces. And then we're going to build a pathway across to here. Uh, let's get some frames to help with that. So we're going to do that there. And then I want to put a cobble right underneath there. Okay. And then we should be able to pick those up. Or not. Um, I might end up... I might end up breaking this ladder out and patching this, but even if I step in here, I'm not going to fall down because I've got the ladder. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is... I've got to think about this for a second. I think we want to put one more there, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves a door. Whoops. Uh, I can make an iron door straight up. Um, now, nah, let's just make a wood door and then we'll upgrade it. We'll be faster that way. 
except for I've got this stuff cooking up. All right, we don't need the shovel or the arrows immediately. Um, so let's switch these around. No, not a shovel, a shovel. Try that again. Iron shovel and then arrows. Okay, so now let's take the door and we're going to put that right here. We're going to go uh, advanced rotation and we want it to go there. Except for, I think I need, I think I need a block under there to support it too. Okay, can we... Okay, that's not... I need to get down lower, so here, let's pick those back up. There. Then we want to put a block here. Get that upgraded to cobble. There. All right, now let's try this again. Uh, we're going to have to cancel our stupid uh, shuffle again. Um, all right, doesn't matter. We don't need the shovel. We don't need the shovel right now. I'm actually making it for tomorrow when we go after the, the treasure. Sucks that we keep losing the progress on it, but we got we to gotta prioritize here. We got to prioritize. Okay, let's go back to advanced rotation and um, try this again. Okay, you get down in here. There we go. Okay, now this is what we need scrap iron for. Oh, you know what? Okay. We got that done. All right, so let's see. See, the pathing works, except, and they fell through the hole. That's even better because that means that, they, you know, they're just going to keep coming back up and cycling through. And, you know, if they fall through the hole, that's even better. Let's see if he's going to come back up here again. I think he's coming. Is he coming? Huh, I don't know. Okay, well, whatever. Let's keep working here. Now, we've got to make sure um, that we, that no zombos. See ya. <laughs> All right, let's just close that door for now. Okay, we got to make sure that no Zombaruskis um, can get to us. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to build a... See, this is really good because it's showing that the pathing's actually working. Come here, dummy. Okay. Um, which is which is what we you know we need. Oh shit! What we need to make this build successful. Okay, let's close that again. All right, now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get. Oh shit! We can't put that on the door, right? Okay. Um, this guy's in the way. We're gonna have to wait for him to disappear, I guess. Uh, I need to get something up there, but I can't do that without getting up a little higher. There, he's gone. Okay. So now we're going to do this, this, this. And we also have to cover uh, this part here. And the reason for that is because the zombies will otherwise climb up on each other and potentially get to us. Uh, which, of course, we don't want to happen. Then we're going to upgrade all this to cobble. It's very convenient to have a steel door there. 
Don't have to worry about that thing breaking anytime soon. And although this isn't strictly necessary, I think what I'm going to do is... Let's make, say, five more of these. We can cancel the arrows and make those later. Or restart them. Okay, so we're, we're just... We're going to cover that, too, just to be on the safe side. Oh, that's it for our cobble. Uh, all right, we're going to have to make some more cobble. Let's repair that. Oh, did she fall off already? Okay. I don't think they're hitting the roof here. They shouldn't be. But sometimes they do weird things. She did. Okay, so, um, do we need to go back to the base for any reason? I'm trying to think if we do it. I don't think we do. Um, but what we need, we have plenty of stone. We need some, we need some clay. So, let's just dig up some clay over here real quick so we can make a little bit more cobble. We're going to need cobble for repairing anyways. Okay, so we got some more cobblestone. Let's get these upgraded here. And again, that's just going to prevent the zombies from jumping up on each other's shoulders, jumping over the top and getting to us. Um, I might even, just for good measure, let's put this one more higher just to prevent any possible jump ups. Oh, I should have actually put that out here. Here, though, huh? Now that I think about it. Well, here, let's just do this. We shouldn't get any spitters. Not expecting that, so I'm not worried about, you know, uh, any range damage. Okay, cool. Uh, so we got that part done. Now, the next thing we want to do is we need to put some uh, quarter poles in here. What if we did a center pole? That could be interesting. All right, let's do an advanced. No, actually, I don't want to do that because I have, I'm going to put a double pull scenario in here. Uh, so let's go back to here and just do this pull. Advanced rotation. Did I not say advanced rotate? Oh, I did. Okay, I was going to say. Okay, so we want that that one to go there, and we want another one. Uh, to go. There. Um, wait, what? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. The reason I'm doing that is because sometimes the zombies will glitch through the first pole and then, you know, get in here with me. So this will help. Uh, discourage that type of behavior uh, from happening. Okay, cool. So I think we're in good shape uh, here. And uh, if we if we start to get overwhelmed, then we just pull the door and bye-bye zombies, and they have to cycle back through again. Uh, so that's pretty much, I think, all we have to do, guys, for this Horde Knight design. I think we're ready to go. Um, can't think of anything else at the moment that we should do here. Uh, we do need... We have, uh, the other thing that's cool about this too is we have this light here. So uh, we already have automatic light. I don't need to worry about lighting torches, that sort of thing, which is really cool. Um, and so, yeah. All right, so let's see. I think we have, let's see, we have, uh, it's 1,600 hours. So it's 4 o'clock, a little after 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, that gives us a little bit of time, which I could spend getting some more iron. Um, um, actually, what we could do is... We could make the iron door now, um, and then we'll just upgrade this to an iron door to make it even stronger, because the zombies will hit that. 
uh, to some extent. But we need to make sure we have enough cobblestone, you know, to keep these repaired because these are the ones, that one in particular, is going to take the most damage. And otherwise, we're just going to sit here. We're going to whack them in the head with this. We're going to shoot them with our bow. If things get a little bit too hot and heavy, we've got our uh, our assault rifle and a couple of uh, blunderbusses, and I think we're good to go. Okay, so let's hop on down here, and we should be able to get up here uh, just like that. I don't think we even need this here. I just don't want anything for the zombos to potentially you know, be able to jump up on and get... Uh, up that ladder to us from the other side and that's it that's going to be our horde base design uh, for horde knight 7 so let's talk a little bit about what if the shit hits the fan what are we going to do in that case um so let's go look over here for a second if i think this place is going to go down um what we could maybe do um, we can break their pathing to us by closing the door, or, or by, rather, I should say, opening the door. And then we could maybe run across the bridge there and jump down into the loft and see if we can, you know, finish out the night in the loft. So if that's the case, let's go back up there for a second. And in order to get over here I guess we're gonna have to do this okay so let's put these guys here temporarily uh, you don't want to jump on that thing because it'll collapse for those of you who may not be aware of that. Okay. So there's a couple things we need to do in here to secure this area. Let's take this ladder out. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about the rest of that ladder. Let's remove this and we want to get rid of um, a couple of blocks on these ledges here so, so the AI doesn't think there's a pathway over here those guys will just fall down there and derp okay so if we have to retreat to here what we're gonna do is I'm just going to keep that there, and then we'll just... Oh, not do that. That's not what we'll do. Okay. Run away! I'm a little encumbered here. We basically just need to get to the other side of that loft. Okay. Well, let's let that settle down. Um, I'm going to go find an iron node. Um, actually, we've got a little iron mine right in front of the house that I started. We could just go there. be easier if we could just find one on the surface, though. Uh, get up a little, you know, get a little more iron farmed up so that we have it for repairs. I might hit a little more clay, too, for cobblestone. And then, uh, if I can, make a little bit more ammo, you know, 762 ammo. Uh, but I think, uh, oh, you know what we could do? Let's finish the rest of this episode by doing this dig quest, because that'll get me some more uh, clay, which we need anyway. How much, um, oh, I've got 109 forged iron. Yeah, we're fine. we got enough iron for repair, so I don't need iron. Let, let's just finish this out here, so that way we can get the clay we need and also do the quest, and we'll kind of kill two stones with one bird here. And then we'll wrap up this episode, and the next episode will be Horde 7. Come here, Bubba. Okay, well, we found the treasure pretty quickly. 
Uh, but I still want to get a little more clay for cobble for repairs. Let's just kind of dig out around here. I switched to my stone shovel too because um, I don't have the really have the stamina for this iron shovel yet. Uh, until we start putting a couple points into like sexy tea and stuff. So we'll just use the stone shovel for this. Okay, let's make sure there's no grass around our mini bike because we're going to have to hop on it quickly to get out of here. And I think we're good to grab the treasure here. We got hop seed. We didn't get any money out of this, but that's okay. We'll get money from the quest itself. Run away! Oh, she tagged us. You thoughty rat! Okay, let's go do the turn-in, and uh, then I think we need to wrap up this episode. Well, well, another survivor. I never would have guessed you'd pull through. Okay, let's take but the painkillers, and we get 560 dukes for that. Let's take a look at your inventory. Is there anything I want to sell you? I don't think so. I think we want to keep all of this. I should have probably had my luckies on, but that's okay. So I think we want to keep everything he's got here. Uh, we've already looked at what you currently have, right? Yeah, we have. So this iron sledgehammer would be nice. Uh, we'd use more. Uh, we'd use more stamina using this on the horde knight, though. But we'd get. 37 and 75 compared to 22 and 44. Hmm. I have enough money. I just have to go back to the house and get it to buy that. Well, I think... Oh, no, maybe I don't. I think we spent damn near all of our coin on the assault rifle, didn't we? Okay. I knew you didn't have money well, the let's take another job from you. Me. How about we'll do this fetch? I have a little assignment. Which is really close well, by. Get busy. Make sure that's not actually at our base. It's not? Okay, cool. All right, guys. Well, I think that is it for this episode here. Um, skull crushers. I'm going to buy some skull crushers. That'll help us. Uh, I'm going to buy some hackers because we need to get some gasoline. Atom junkies isn't going to do us any good. Sugar butts don't need that for Horde Knight. And so I'm going to go back to the base, drop some stuff off, and get ready for the Horde Night. And uh, when I see you guys in the next episode, we will start Horde Night 7. See you then.